Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we're going to do the benchmarking for the Samsung Galaxy Mega. I have already done the unboxing for this Galaxy Mega 6.3 so you can check out that video to know what comes inside the box. This is a massive phone that sports a 6.3 inch screen and to give you an idea, uh, this is the Samsung Galaxy S4 which hoses a 5 inch screen and look at this Mega. How big it is. The Galaxy S4 actually looks pretty puny in front of that. And uh, Though the Mega has the largest screen size, it's not the flagship Android phone by Samsung. Hence, the specs are also kind of uh, mid-range-ish. Let me talk about them. And the processor on this uh, Galaxy Mega 6.3 is the Qualcomm S4 Cryot processor. Uh, it's a dual-core processor clocked at 1.7 GHz. The GPU on this is an Adreno. Uh, 305 and the RAM on this is very interesting it's not 1 gig not 2 gig but 1.5 gigs so let's start with some benchmarking and let's uh, start it with Nina mark uh, to benchmark and uh, we're going to run it for the first time and it's a 720p screen and again if you look at the Nina mark score it's uh, hovering between let's say 45 to 50 Again, Adreno 305 is not a flagship GPU, but a mid-range-ish GPU, I would say. Samsung does not call this as their flagship device. So again, considering the cost of this phone, uh, I would say the performance is okay. And then we can see that we get a score of 52.8 FPS. Let's publish that. It's not very high because I've seen many of the new Android phones uh, hovering at the 60 mark. Uh, and as you can see it sports the Adreno 305 GPU so let's get out of this one and uh, again I have to say single hand operations with this phone is a little bit difficult it's massive and let's also run this quadrant I already ran the quadrant uh, benchmark and before I show you the scores let me show you the system information and as you can see uh, it's running a dual core processor the maximum frequency is uh, 1728 and the minimum is 384 and the RAM is 1.5 gigs and if you go to the display as you can see it sports the Adreno 305 GPU and the screen resolution as I said is 720 by 1280 that's a 720p screen and uh, let's also look at the sensors again as you can see Samsung did not skimp on the sensors uh, now let me show you the quadrant scores so these are the quadrant scores and as you can see let me just maximize it our device gets a score of 6930 which is actually a very decent score for a 1.7 gigahertz dual core processor and let me give you a breakup the total is 6930 the cpu is uh, 13684 memory is 12835 I.O. is 4887, 2D is 1000 and 3D score is 2243. I actually also ran the Antutu benchmark and let's look at the scores. And as you can see we got a score of 12730 for the Antutu. Let me show you the detail scores now. And these are the detail scores for the Antutu benchmark. Again the specific model for the one we have benchmarked is the GTI 9205. Let's also do one more last benchmark and this is Epic Citadel and this will test the gaming performance. So again as you can see it's very smooth I would say. And uh, this benchmark is a little bit interactive so as you can see I'm moving around and it's very smooth. No drop frames. So even 3D games should work very well on this one. And let me also show you the benchmark scores now. Again just notice the FPS. We are touching almost the 60 FPS mark on this Mega 6.3 which is actually very good. Again do notice there's hardly any drop frames or anything like that. Very smooth animation. So it should be also be good for 3D gaming. I'll also be doing 3D gaming tests with this uh, Samsung Galaxy Mega very soon. So if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the same. If you found this video helpful, I'll appreciate it if you can click the like button. That's it for now. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.